Hello everybody, this is Kiyoshi here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Sega Spy Family Loy Forger figure. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at the packaging first. Um, yeah, we have a very um, interesting packaging. The reason I got this figure is really like the uh, the artwork and um, the figure, the promo figure. It looks really detailed and really nice. Um, so yeah, this Spy Family TV anime Spy Family Loy Forja coat, and here is another look of it, and here is the back, and here is the other look, and here's the top Spy Family. All right, move that to the side. This is like one of those noodle stopper figures, which is in a sit down pose. Um, it does not come with any stand or base or anything like that. So um, you guys, if you want to display on a regular desk, you probably have to have something ready for it. Or if you guys want to, you know, let it sit towards the edge of your bookshelf um, figure stand or something like that. That works too. Um, I just have something to demonstrate. This is a pretty long figure. Um... Let me see how tall it is in a sitting pose. Um, wow, it's seven inches. Maybe, it, oh, yeah, it's around seven inches tall. A uh, pretty tall figure. Um, but yeah, it has a very nice vibe here. Uh, the actual figure is not as like pretty as the promo image, I must say. I think the color, uh, the skin tone of the promo image looks a lot nicer. It's more pale, uh, the real figure. However, um, but still, I do like the figure very much because uh, the figure is in a very unique vibe, which I really like. You know, like the facial expression looks like a serial serial killer <laughs> for some reason. Um, and just very cool, very cold vibe going on. Uh, I really like it. Um, and then the suit, the suit of body looks pretty cool too. It's pretty decent. Nothing fancy here, but the uh, toy koi's color pops so well with the red necktie. Um, yeah, and then the glove, everything just looks really cool. Um, once again, I think it's a very basic paint app, very basic figure. However, you know, everything that matched together just uh, make this figure really stand out. I really like the shoes here. They use a very shiny, glossy uh, paint app versus the suit is more like a matte. The glove is matte as well. Um, and then the skin tone is like a matte finish as well. I, I really like this contrast. Um, this is also very standout too. And then Lloyd's leg is so long. <laughs> I never realized that in the anime. But anyways, um, really like it. Um, aside from the skin tone, I wish it's more, just, just maybe more like natural skin tone. Like just a little bit more pink to it um will be will be a lot nicer um it's just a little bit too pale to my taste but still i like i love the expression the expression is amazing once again once having it sit on the uh, the stand it's just one of a kind i mean instantly this is probably my favorite spy family figure i've had so far um i got it for around 30 bucks on amazon um, i highly recommend it if you guys can find it um, go ahead and buy it if you're a Spy Family fan, especially if you like Loy. Um, this is really a decent figure. Uh, let me try to do a 360. Just really, really nice. Um, yeah, especially I like this angle. Um, it looks just so much... There's so much personality and characteristics going on with this figure. Just love it. Um, in uh how I'm gonna rate this figure is very hard. I, I want to rate it like almost a 10 out of 10. But like I said, it's not like a perfect figure. But um, the skin tone is something that I don't really like. I like the skin tone on the promo image just a bit more. You see that little more orangey, more lively color. Whereas the skin tone on this real extra figure is more like a vampire-ish. It's like he, he can never, you know, see the sun or something like that. Um, yep. Uh, but I will give it a 9 out of 10. Almost a close score to 10 out of 10. You know, I, I really want to nitpick a little bit, not giving a perfect score, but it's a 9 out of 10. It's a really well-made figure made by Sega. Um, very high quality, very good looking, and very standout. It just really popped this figure for some reason. Um, it, it really, it's everything I like. 
Uh, you know, I like the, yeah, I just like everything about it. Most, most things except skin tone. Anyway, here's my review of the Sega Spy Family Loy Forger figure. Uh, highly recommend this figure if you are a Loy fan or a Spy Family fan in general. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.